today we're going to be doing a lesson on articulation, the way we use our mouth to form words and sounds. We're also going to be looking at some tips to make sure you come across as a confident speaker of English in any interview kind of situation. Now, let's just imagine that you do have an interview. Your heart's going to be going boom, 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 boom. And, and suddenly all your English goes out the window and you can't think of anything and you start making mistakes and you can't really talk properly. So we need to make sure we're in our bodies, okay? And that we are present and alive in the room. I've worked as an actor for a few years, so I wanted to share a couple of warm-ups, a couple of starters that people do, that actors do, before they go on stage. So, uh, I know you can't see my feet, but we might start by making circles with our feet, like this. So move them round, okay? Make those joints, so you're doing this with your foot, and then with the other foot. So I want you to get off your chairs, I know you're watching me on the internet, get up off your chair, let's all get involved and move your right foot around and the other way. And now do circles with your knees, circles with your knees, good stuff. And now with your waist, let's move our waist around, move that waist around in a nice big circle and the other way around. Great, now we're gonna do some shoulder rolls. Yeah, we're making nice big circles with our shoulders. And the other way. Great. Shake out our hands. Got a pen in it. Shake it out. Move our head around. Could be careful with the head. We're going to do circles with our head. And when you get to the back, make sure your mouth is open, okay? Uh, a nice big circle. And if you want to yawn, that's just a sign that you're relaxing, okay? We're going to move around like that. Great, have a little shake out, have a little shimmy, bit of boogie. Great, we're good to go. Obviously today we're focusing on the tongue, the lips and the mouth. So let's just by start by blowing through our lips. <laughs> Do it after me. <laughs> so the, the pitch, it's going up. <laughs> and back down again. You try. <laughs> Good. Now, I want you to imagine that you're brushing your teeth with your tongue. Okay, you don't have a toothbrush, you can't find a toothbrush, so you're using your tongue. Okay, you're brushing all of your teeth with your tongue. Okay, because to make clear sounds in English, you need your tongue to work hard. Okay, and now brush the, the bottom jaw. This is a jaw. Okay, we're going to brush the teeth in here. Uh, uh, great. And now let's just, uh, you know, make some funny faces at me. I'm making some funny faces at you. You make some funny faces at me. Yeah? Move your face around. <laughs> I know, it's a bit weird. Um, obviously, when, when we're breathing, we want to breathe from our stomachs. We, can't, we don't want to talk up here, so try, try and think of breathing. Feel your tummy going in and out down here. Not up here, you might feel your ribs move. I want to see if you can breathe. <sighs> Using your stomach, okay? Now, we're gonna look at some vocal exercises. Pataka pa. Okay, so we're gonna look at making sounds which are exercises for the different sounds you make in English. And then we're gonna look at some actual articulation exercises for really clear speech. And these are things you can practice. You know, I do it when I'm sort of driving my car, uh, before today, so I speak clearly. Um, clearly hasn't worked. Um, vocal exercises. Okay, we're gonna start with pa. So we're gonna go pataka pa, pataka pa. I want you to repeat after me. Pataka pa. Great. Pataka po. Pataka poo. It's quite a rude word in English. Pataka pee. Okay. P -p -p. Okay. P -p. Bottom lip, top leaf, lip, they come apart. P -p. Bottom lip, it's blowing against that top lip. P -p. 
Okay, pataka p, pataka, pataka pay. Okay, so if you become confident with these, then you can repeat this bit a couple of times. So it would be pataka pataka pa. Let's try that one. Pataka pataka pa. Have a go. Great. And then with these ones, pataka pataka poor. Okay, you get the idea. Practice those in your own time. That's your homework, okay? I mean, it's a really good practice to try and do this every day to really develop clear speech. You might want to visit a voice coach at some point if you have a particularly crap speech. Now, let's look at our Bs. So this is known as unvoiced and this is known as voiced with the voice of the actor, okay? So, badagaba, yeah? Badagaba. Let's work our way down here. Again, you repeating after me. Badagaba. Good. Badagabo. Badagabo. Boo. Badagabee. You know, like a bumblebee. Bzzz. Badagabay. Good. So uh, a bay is actually an, a noise that a horse makes. You didn't know that? A horse can bay. Right, we've got a few ones here because uh, these are our consonants. Okay, still paying attention? You're doing really well, Ingvid. Let's have a go. So we're gonna start with the letter L. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Have a go. Yeah, la. So the tongue is at the top of the mouth and goes la. The tongue sort of flicks forward, la. La, 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 la. Now we're doing this one. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Now this one, loads of la's, huh? La, 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 la. You have a go. Okay, and then you can obviously practice this with, with all the different consonants. So I hope you know the difference between a vowel and a consonant. Write down for me, please, a little test. What are the five vowels in English? Okay, what are the five vowels? Have a little write down, what is it? A, yep, it's A, E, I, O, U. Anything that is not a vowel is a consonant. So here we're practicing our consonant noises. We're gonna do it one more and we'll do it with the letter T. So, Ta, 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 ta. So what you're doing is you're putting this letter in here. So once you've done L, then you'll put T in and all of these will be T's. Yeah, and when you've done that, all of them become D's. Yeah? Do you understand? Okay, so practice that. Um, let's have one more go, okay. We're doing T's. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Great. Ta 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 ta. Yeah, da 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 da. Right. Now, I don't know if you go to the theatre, but sometimes you'll get actors about an hour before, and they'll be walking around going, "Unique New York, unique New York." It's the weirdest place you could ever imagine being in a theatre an hour before. Um, let's go. Un unique. Okay, unique. It means different. Different New York, unique New York, and then New York, unique. The idea is to repeat this as fast as you can. So it's like unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. Okay, have a little go. Unique New York, unique New York. Great. Let's go on to this one. Red leather. Okay, so this is a test of this TH sound. So your, your tongue tip is coming up to the bottom of these teeth here. Your tongue is going there. Leather, the, 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 okay? Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. And then you repeat that until you board off your perch. And then um, making sure we have clear SH noises. Look at all these SHs and Ss. So we don't want to be sounding like um, So let's have a go at the sh. 
She says she shall sew a sheet. She says she shall sew a sheet. She says she shall sew a sheet. Let's all have a go after me. She says she shall sew a sheet. Yeah. Okay, so practice it. Peas. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Lovely. Now our t and our does with words. What a to do to die today at a minute or two to two. What a to do to die today at a minute or two to two. A thing distinctly, or we could put a thing very, a thing very hard to say, but harder, but, oh, okay, it is meant to be a, but a harder thing to do. One more, all together, repeat with me. What a to do to die today at a minute or two to two. A thing distinctly hard to say, but a harder thing to do. I want you to practice them, okay? When you've got an important interview, bring them out. You know, go to the toilet. What is to do to die today at a quarter to two to two? A, dis uh, uh, a thing distinctly hard to say, but a harder thing to do, okay? Practice them. When you're in the car, write them down. Great. Subscribe my S's. Benjamin needs to be doing this one, doesn't he? Subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel if you will and come back soon. Thanks very much. Bye.